Well, hello, Facebook friends, and we are starting live our Barriers and Breakthroughs show. I am Rochelle Payne Baum. Yes, I'm the Pain Whisperer. And the reason I'm the Pain Whisperer is because I, I'm always helping people with pain. People at the gym, people that have you know, hurt themselves. I want to help you. If you're searching on WebMD for some help, you can always consult me. I would love to help you with your pain, direct you in the right place to help you fix that pain and get stronger and be able to make yourself healthier. And so that's what I do. I'm a physical therapist. I've uh, been a physical therapist for 30 years, but I work with all kinds of people with pain and I want to help them fix their pain. On the Barriers and Breakthroughs show, we also talk about different kinds of pain and the barriers that people have and the breakthroughs that have helped them overcome you know, difficult challenges. And so I like to have you learn some things about some of the guests that we have on our show. And we are also sponsored by Racer's Edge Hand Car Wash. So any of you that want to uh, go to Racer's Edge, uh, they're on 1980 Country Place Parkway in Pearland. You can get a free deluxe car wash if you mention the Bears and Breakthroughs show. So that's Racer's Edge Hand Car Wash. And also uh, Casa Healthcare, which is a home health agency. They're also uh, one of the sponsors, so we like to thank them. So we have a wonderful guest today. This is uh, Becky Singleton. I'm super excited to have her on our show. I think you'll learn some really great things from Becky. One, because she's very experienced, and I actually, we met at the gym, right? Right. And she is tough at the gym. <laughs> like, she motivates me a lot. And she's super friendly, of course, and always um, encouraging me. And so I really appreciate her, and she has an amazing business. So. We're going to turn it over to Becky and let um, let her tell us a little bit about what she does, and uh, hope you can learn something special. She has a unique business, so. Yeah. Well, I uh, own a construction company, and I specialize in creosote and a permanent solution to mold. And what that means is our coating goes on areas that may have had mold, like houses during the Harvey storm that I did. They were uh, wood, and the wood obviously was wet and gathers mold. And so we put our coating on, and mold cannot grow on it. It's forever, permanent, forever. Right? It's we permanent. Give a war yeah, we give a 10-year warranty. That's but awesome. I've done homes back during Ike mm -hmm. that nothing ever grew on them. So wow. That's over 10 years ago. So Wow, yeah, I remember Ike. Excited. Yeah. Lots of people. A lot of roofs came off then. Yeah. So yeah. The, the water poured in from the top. It's exciting to know that I'm helping people's health, which yeah. is important, similar to you. You're the pain doctor, right? Yeah. But I find that I've always been in jobs that allowed me to help people stay healthy, you know, and uh, be better where they are in their environment. So the creosote, which is interesting enough, I was in the University Village. Okay, wait, area. explain what creosote is okay, because that's good. creosote. Thank you. Creosote, creosote, right. I hadn't ever heard of that before. Well, creosote is if you go outside and you see those um, utility poles, the very dark wood that hold the wires for telephone poles, telephone okay. poles mm -hmm. okay. or railroad ties yeah. that stay outside. So back in the day, they used to dip these woods so that bugs couldn't penetrate them oh, and they could yeah. stay in the elements. Well, that was a long time ago. And so unfortunately, what they've now discovered is they're carcinogenic and oh. they have an off gassing, which is a horrible. Yeah, they have a smell. Oh, it's horrible. Smell. And mm -hmm. the heat hits them. Mm -hmm. So that's what I was going to say. I was in the university area, um, just shopping around. I was going to have some lunch and I went into this burger place and I wanted to sit outside. But the smell of the creosote poles that were outside was so bad, I couldn't do that wow. and I thought oh my god these people walking they by have no idea no idea sitting at Starbucks having their coffee little kids go what does that smell I mean it is horrible wow um, but it's cancer causing and that's what makes me even more um, driven dri yeah, yeah. To, to help people and alert them that there is a solution to encapsulate so that's what we do we coat things and have it okay. I do a lot of work in Los Angeles believe it or not Wow. Because the homes in Los Angeles in the 30s and 40s were built with creosote joists. So that's what holds up the house underneath the house. Wow. And when it's warm in Los Angeles, which it's been mm -hmm. because of the global warming, right. it's off-gassing and going into people's homes. Well, these people have kids. They have yeah. elderly people. 
I several, have no idea. Like no I had idea. no idea about creosote at all. Yeah, so, and you know what so makes really. me sad? I I did a home in Santa Fe, New Mexico, mm -hmm. and she shut off the AC and she didn't even know she had it until the neighbors called to complain. There's a smell coming from her house. Mm -hmm. And the way the sun was beating on her house between two and five o'clock, yeah. it was really off gassing. Yeah. Um, turns out as I was working on her house, neighbors came by and said, what are you doing? So I was explaining and they said, oh, the first people that owned this house died of cancer. <gasps> the second oh person that owned the house had leukemia. Oh my goodness. And I'm thinking, oh my God. Now, mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of cancer creosote can give you, right. but it is deemed that way. You go yeah. to the EPA, especially California's EPA is designated as yeah. carcinogenic. Yeah. So it's just, you know, something that's important that people have to recognize that they have word smell, yeah. you know, to check it out. To check it out. Yeah. Like, look we don't have a lot of it here in Texas. Just a few places, maybe like up north, they may have. So the telephone house. poles here in Houston don't have it. They don't know. The they have creosote, but they haven't been coated. So oh, I'm now trying to it. figure out who I need to talk to to coat them. To, to, coat, to let them know there's a, a solution. Yeah. See, they don't know that there's Nobody a solution. Knows. Right. That's so great. So I know you have a commercial that you did. I did. That so, was for mold, yeah. So I think we can look and see on there. Um, can we go ahead and see what that commercial is? Can you explain in case? Gold Coast you know. Fire Shield is a Texas proud Houston based company that provides protection from mold, wood, plaster, sheet, rock, concrete, and your home or businesses. There is an effective way to prevent mold and its health risks and smells. It's called EnviroShield, and it's a permanent solution. It can be applied to a damp surface. EnviroShield is a revolutionary product that kills mold and prevents any new growth for years. And we stand behind that claim with a real 10 year warranty. Call us today. So oh, what's yeah. In, yeah, what's important about this? Yeah, just, let's make sure we're back on. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what's important about this where we live, we live in the perfect environment for mold. Mold is in the air. And because yeah. of the storm, we have extra high levels of mold in the air. It's when the mold inside is more than the mold outside. That's when you have Get a real big trouble. problem. Yes. And, and how do you know, like, you might have more, you know, there's a lot of respiratory, like runny nose, headaches. Mm -hmm. I did look at a home of um, one of my contractors that called me. So could you just go check out my cousin's house? She's having a problem. Sure enough, very top floor. There's a hole in her roof and the water came in. Big black mold around the furnace that got just. Right. And but the saddest thing is if you trace from that attic all the way down to the first floor, she had mushrooms <gasps> growing out of the rug. Oh. I saw her sniffling and she oh, had pets man. and kids that live there, yeah. like teenagers. I said, listen. Wow, it's amazing what people are living with that they don't even know. They don't know. Because yeah. after a while, even with the creosote, you start to think this is a normal smell mm -hmm. in your house. Yeah, you don't get realize. Used to it. Yes, yeah. you get used to it. And that's mm -hmm. what's dangerous yeah. is that. But there are symptoms with the mold, you know, and respiratory. Um, there are a lot of things that have happened to people that mm -hmm. they don't realize is related to them possibly having mold in an yeah. area they didn't even realize. Wow. So that's amazing. So tell me a little bit. Like you're the only one in the entire country that really yeah. does. This. I'm the like, uh, I'm the only woman who can do creosote. I'm yeah. the only or person. Yeah. yeah. So I get calls around the country because yeah. no one's really doing that. Yeah. Um, and a lot of my work, like I said, is in Los Angeles because of those homes. And the mold is unique because of where we live. Yeah. Um, there are other guys that are like on the um, East Coast, mm -hmm. kind of Gulf uh, oh. of, you know, like Maryland, Maryland and New Jersey, yeah. New York. But nobody from North Carolina on does this but me wow. here. Yeah, to California. That is so, great. Yeah. So there's a lot of opportunity out there. Yes. For a light many of you especially here in houston with us having the hurricanes yeah. and everything so and there's a lot of people that are still not fixed they yeah. may have thought they sprayed a little bleach and bleach just kind of dormants it for a second mm -hmm. but once the elements of the environment outside get nice and warm and mm -hmm. moist and a nice environment that mold likes it grows behind walls and that's 
what I'm getting calls about now. The wallpaper is oh. bubbling. Oh, yeah. Or the paint is coming. Uh, and it's actually underneath that. It's mm -hmm. Yeah, it's behind the sheetrock now. Oh. So there's solutions, things that we can do to help them uh, maintain the sheetrock and kill the opportunity for the mold to come through. So we oh, can okay. we can it can match like paint. It can oh, almost okay. look like paint. So we oh, can okay. match their color, put it on the wall, yeah. and it won't prevent it. And there's a, a oh. home in Hawaii. Now Hawaii doesn't have hurricanes and things like we do, um, but they have a lot of moisture, right. and the environment's perfect because of the heat. There's one gentleman that had painted his entire house with our coating. He's the only house that doesn't have mold. Everybody's wow. house in Hawaii has mold. Wow. Yeah, unless Last, uh, now she's going to be flying over to Hawaii, <laughs> and I'm going to go with go, you. Go, go, go. Well, we were there last year. Yeah. I brought my family just for a vacation, oh, nice. and they're the ones I could smell in the house I was renting, and yeah. people said, oh, that's a big problem here. But it's not because of a flood. Yeah. It's not because of a disaster. Just it's just all that moisture. It's, it, yes. And we climate. have that kind of climate, especially yeah. in the summer. So. Wow, that's yeah. really, really amazing. So it's actually kind of like a paint then and you just spray it. It's a water-based epoxy. Oh, well, so it can it look color? like, yeah, you can add color to oh. it. Yep, we can just make it the way people want it. A paint company makes it okay. for us. Got it. So they can, we can do a flat satin, you know, wow. however paint comes, we can make it that way. So oh, wow. yeah, it is. It's that's exciting that people can have a remedy. Yeah. So, so what were, I mean, how did you get into the business for one and like, what were some, you know, berries you might've had and, and I mean, was it a whole breakthrough that you even came onto the business? It yeah, sounds really it, exciting. Well, so. it was a, okay. So the barriers were understanding mold and understanding homes. Mm -hmm. And I really had to educate myself on the construction of a home. What happens with sheetrock and when would this happen? And so those are some barriers I had to overcome. The person that owns the product, mm -hmm. um, I've known for 30 years, and he oh, knew okay. when I moved to Houston, he said, listen, do I don't give this to everybody to do, but mm -hmm. I'm going to give you the license to do this, open up your own company and do what you got to do. Cool. So that's how it started 10 years ago. Okay. And then, you know, I've had little, like, great moments, and then it goes low, and, but the creosote has, like, revamped, so I have uh, an added offering yeah versus just mold yeah um and that allows me to travel okay so i was just going to look and see if we had any questions here um because i i had a question about does insurance pay for that like what i mean it's what if question. you find that you have what your house and has all this mold and how much yeah. you know am i going to be able to pay for this or do, can insurance pay for it and how yeah does that i work? i find that something happened here in texas a long time ago with insurance mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. people were uh, insurance companies were kind of taken for a ride a little bit mm -hmm. with remediation. And I don't do remediation. I do a preventive measure. Okay. So I coat the area that needs to be coated. I don't pull anything out. I don't do any. Remodel, no, remodel, I don't do any of that. Yeah. But you need to treat the area in which you're dealing with. Okay. And so, yeah. Okay. So. Is this a little video? Let's look at this video and oh, see. Oh, yeah. So that's a home in Piney Point, actually. Here this in house Houston. Is here in Houston. It was underwater for two weeks. Uh-huh. The entire house sat on the Brazos River. Oh, wow. And so they wanted to save this home. And okay. so we did this home. We did inside and then underneath the home. Yeah. They have since rebuilt uh, it and they just couldn't be happier and it's amazing because they thought if to replace every piece of wood in this home would, would have cost them so over a half a million dollars oh, just man. to replace every and that just wasn't feasible and, the, and so it kind of even restores the, restores the wood. the wood hardens it makes it firm wow. yeah so now they and a smell what she told me was every time she walks in Smells like a new home. Yeah. It's like, I can't so believe like, my house was underwater for two and a half weeks. Wow. And it's a beautiful home, not it's a very really expensive home in Piney Point. Yeah. So that's not something that people that pay a lot of money for their homes like that yeah. want to think that my house was underwater and it couldn't be saved. So that's we're awesome. really proud of that project. 
For sure, like saving their whole home, really, and the value of it, too, mm -hmm. you know? And the great thing about mm -hmm. this, because they're thinking of selling it, so the warranty we gave them is transferable to the next owner. Oh, sweet. So they don't, cool. the next owner gets that benefit, too. Gets the whole too. warranty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Isn't that nice? That is awesome. Wow, okay, so we um, we also have some pictures of your beautiful My children. children. That's a fun and, story. <laughs> yeah, okay, so you have... Tell us about your family. I have two beautiful daughters, yeah. just awesome talents and beauties, but they're 22 years apart in age. <gasps> what? So, yes, wow. they're 22 years. Nice. I will just tell you the little one's age, and then you can figure out the older okay. one's age. So the little one's 12. <laughs> oh, okay. She's a competitive wow. swimmer. So, and so my daughter's graduating from college when okay. I had just had her. Okay. Um, That's close to me. That's I, have a, I have 17 years apart between my oldest and my youngest. Oh, so. okay. Yeah. Well, I'm not mad at you because it's a lot of work, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. But it's so fun. that's that's really great. Okay, so here's a picture of your oldest getting married. That's, that's Shalia. Yeah, Shalia. Shalia. That's okay. Shalia. She's a singer. Okay. And that's uh, my daughter, my mom's in that photo. Nice. Yeah, we were okay. really proud of her. You know, she. You know, it's interesting as we raise our children and mm -hmm. and a lot of the millennials are waiting a little longer to get married. Right. And she just decided she was going to wait until she felt it was the right time and the right person. And, well, that's and I'm important. really proud of her. Find the right you know? person. That's and super important. So yeah. one day I'll have grandchildren. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, it'll be nice. But it's, it's her patience to the process, I think, yeah. is um well, she's important. in school. That's super important to get your schooling. Yeah. Okay, so the other picture, that was her. She's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then that she's the one that's I just saying. say she's my sister. She, you guys look us all alike. <laughs> she looks like sisters. I love it. Beautiful. She's a fun girl. She looks at, she takes after you too, really. She's so. she's a good a good person, a good girl. <laughs> So talented. since your daughter's 12, how do you manage that, like traveling? And she has competitive swims. She, so she has competitive has swim. swim. She like swims daily. Day. Oh, my God. Sundays is her only day off. Yeah. She's okay. really wanting to go to the Olympics. So she's got 20, 24 Ooh. all over her mirror. Oh, no, we'll have to watch out for her. And her yeah. name is? Jalen Hardy. Jalen Hardy. Okay, yeah. watch out for that. So yeah, these so young ones, like, starting this early, that's well, what it takes. Well, that's the key. Yeah. And, um, yeah. She does very well. She's one of the top swimmers in Texas, and uh, okay. she's just doing really well. I mean, her last meet we were at, she had nine events, and she came in first I, I, six times. Oh, uh, my goodness. And then the other events are two, <laughs> two three, and four. Well, yeah, well, not me, but her. She does a lot. Well, I know, but you're supporting that. Oh, oh yeah. You know, that. and, so and I got to tell you, a yeah. lot of parents say, how do you do that every single night? She swims two hours. Wow. I said it's yeah. They're only small for so long. Yeah. You know, yeah, if I don't know is. anything from my first oh, one to my last so one, awesome. it goes yeah. by fast. So you've got to give them all the opportunity because once they have the opportunity, it's under their belt, and they get yeah. these um, opportunities out of that realm. Sure. You know, college or Olympics or whatever she wants to do with it, yeah. she's already set. You That's know, awesome. so yeah. So we engage her with a, really great. making sure her education is. Strong wow. and and her athletic abilities are being honed and yeah. it's nice. So what's her fastest? Like what's her best stroke that she does? You know, it's changing all the time, but she's a really good backstroker. She's okay. known for backstroke and freestyle. And freestyle, so but she's fast. she's fast. But her IM, which is all the strokes, mm -hmm. is starting to really crawl Take up. Off. Yes, cool. and um. It's amazing that, you know, how something she thinks in her head she's not very good at seems to be what she's starting to be really good at. Yeah, you know? Well, so. it takes, yeah, and it takes dedication and diligence and, you know, hard work. I mean, just yes. to stick to it, you know. And she's tall real. for her age. I think oh. that helps, you know, when yeah. your children are in a sport that requires a certain body shape. Type. Right. Yeah. Like gymnasts, they need to be smaller. Sure. Right. Yeah. Swimmers, volleyball player, tall, basketball players, they, tall. They need to have that height. Yeah. They, all that stuff helps them. Great. And uh, it's a lot of uh, strength and, you know, feeding her yeah. well. It's important. Sure. These kids don't necessarily want to eat well, but we yeah. have to encourage them mentally that they're athletes. Yeah. And they need to eat like an athlete. So. Well, I know. And you and you do fitness yourself because, you know, we're at the gym and you know how important that is. Mm -hmm. and, and then you're eating 
like you you did some health and fitness coaching right yes yeah, so, so i've been a health and fitness coach for 35 years wow so i have an Me exercise too. video i did 20 years ago nice. uh, called it. becky singleton's just like you is and, it on youtube Can we look um it up? you probably be able i saw it on amazon believe it or not okay. i was laughing yeah i was okay. laughing i'm like someone's oh, selling it. it but um i okay. did it um based on my i was on tour for a long time with reebok and I was a master trainer for them. I would tour and all these women would wake up, African-American women wanting to work out, but they just weren't motivated normally. Mm -hmm. You know, they didn't see people that look like them. And yeah. so I went back and I developed this exercise video for women of color so that they could nice. feel like more motivated because a lot of people of color were dying from the complications of diabetes, diabetes. you know, yeah. hypertension, heart it's disease. It's affecting all Americans, really. It is, you but know. they rank number one in death. Do they? I didn't know that. Wow. It's sad, and yeah. the lowest population of people. So I'm like, I got to do something. Yeah, something. Yeah. So that was like my contribute um, abilities to give out to the public, like, please, if, oh, just something, yeah. do something, because you've got to lower your A1C if you can, yeah. try not to have the onset of diabetes. But if really? you do have diabetes, you still have to move. So, yeah. Yeah. good. I'm, well, I'm a total believer in that, as you know. Like with physical therapy, same thing. You got to keep your bones strong, you know, right. so you keep your muscles strong. Help. It helps with diabetes. If you go do some exercising, it's the same as taking insulin. It puts that right. sugar right into your muscles, right. and it's super, super helpful. So I'm really glad. But I think yeah. it's the education. So exactly. you're probably educating them every time you tell them to do right. that. I think. Yeah. It's like the crease that no one knows what that smell is. You got to mm -hmm. teach people. Yeah. And not everybody gets to um, be aware of it, but once they know better, yeah. they do better. It's right? a breakthrough, right? It's a breakthrough. Get that information, the right information. It That's makes a it. difference. That's why I named it breakthrough because it's sort of you have the wrong information or don't have the right information. Once you get that, it changes, it changes. the exactly. results and what you can do with that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, tell me a little bit more like about um, your eating because you mentioned something that I thought a lot of people have a hard time knowing what to eat, how to be yes. fit, and since you've done that. Yeah, I actually did about, oh, it's almost a year ago now, I did a blood test because mm -hmm. I was feeling like inflammation, my mm -hmm. stomach was bloated, I just, it was odd, even though I called myself eating well, I worked out every day, it didn't make sense. Mm -hmm. And so I took this blood test uh, with a woman out in Arizona, mm -hmm. and it basically told me all the foods I was allergic to. Okay. And I'm allergic to all gluten. Oh, wow. All dairy. And dairy? Ooh. Yes. Wow. Some shellfish, like oysters and clams and Shell. cod. Not all shellfish, cod, but yeah. yeah. Scallops. Oh, um, man. Yeah, I was sad because yeah. <laughs> I love seafood. seafood. Not lobster or shrimp, so I'm Thank still okay. A little bit. Right. But yellow squash, pineapple, sesame. Oh I can't goodness. do beer or wine because I have a wheat barley in it. Wow. And it just opened up my eyes to, oh, my goodness. So I completely stopped eating any of those foods, and I immediately lost 30 pounds. I mean, literally wow. within two months, and my body just shrunk. How did you feel, too? I mean, oh, I'm completely different. That. Completely different. I realize because sometimes I can tell if something's been contaminated if I eat out somewhere. Yeah. And they say it's gluten free, but it somehow well, it's something not, got yeah. in there or yeah. it was mixed in the same pan or something. Yeah. I have symptoms like either really heavy gas, mm -hmm. which is awful. Yeah. And um, <laughs> or my stomach just yeah, starts to distend. Yeah. So those are signals that something I ate was gluten or dairy. Or so yeah. I would think a lot of people like I, that makes me want to take the blood test and see yes if there's something I'm allergic to that's really bothering me and I have no idea you, you have know? no idea and you know wow. until I did that test I thought I was eating well mm -hmm. and even though you know pineapples are healthy right yeah, fruit, but yeah. I can't it's the yellow squash yellow but squash. they're not good for me interesting I'm allergic to now them. that's not because of your blood type no it had nothing it's to do with my blood type as an allergic reaction, my body just gets, you know, inflamed and yeah. it reacts. You Is know, there any personally. kind of that testing here? Like, I'd be interested in. Like, yeah, I'd have to find out. But the woman that I went to, her name mm -hmm. is Ken. She's out. Uh, she's an acupuncturist out in Tucson, okay. Arizona. Wow. And she just sent, you know, to those little ready labs. Yeah. 
um, just sent the, me the little kit. I brought Asian, it there. No, nope. no, nope. wow. no. My brother-in-law has leukemia. He's had it for 20 years, but he really believes in combining Western medicine with mm. Eastern medicine because, like, some of the uh, the uh, homeopathy, like, yes. acupuncture, like some of that um, helps helps a lot. So I know we haven't talked about this, but I I am a survivor of thyroid cancer. Wow. And after my radiation treatment, I did acupuncture. She's amazing. <laughs> like, seriously, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, and, and the acupuncture did help release some of that, you know, basically inflammation from the radiation, release it out of my body as I was starting to heal. Wow. Because I was really swollen and it was uncomfortable and the acupuncture was really helpful. I mean, mm -hmm. I just, sometimes you just have to do some things yeah. that are, you know, obviously under your doctor's care yeah, too. Sure. They knew I was Definitely. doing this, but it was yeah. helpful, you know, and they, you know, I'm now cared for at MD Anderson. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they really think globally too. And thinking go globally means how do other countries use their methods of healing? And they take a lot of that stuff on too. That's so awesome. Well, surprised. I know with the internet nowadays, there's so much research that's shared so quickly Mm -hmm. which is so good for our medicine, yes. you know, and our health for prolonging life and having better quality of life and fixing, figuring yeah. out how to kill cancer. Or, you know, right. my, my sister just got diagnosed a year and a half ago with stage four breast cancer. Oh, wow. And so, I mean, that always is in the back of my mind, sure. you know, and so. And you check in your them. breasts. Everybody's got to yeah. check their breasts because yeah. that's how people find it. Yeah. They don't yeah. wait till they go to the doctor. Right. They like, oh, that month wasn't there like yeah. yesterday, or, you know. Yeah, I mean, exactly. things pop up that quick, so yeah. I definitely encourage that. That's wow. sad. I'm sorry. I hope she. I know she's doing well. She gets her blood tests every every month, mm -hmm. and she's doing a lot of essential oils. She's eating really well. Omega, you know, three, sixes, yes. vitamin C. You know, my husband's done a lot of research to mm -hmm. see what other things she can take Fantastic. besides chemo to help build yeah. her immune system and yes. help her fight it. So. That's the key, and I will tell yeah. you, it, it's a mental. Yeah. Mental is, you've got to maintain a mental, positive, and see yourself healthy. Don't buy into, I'm going to die or anything. You know, keep yourself living um, and be That's really good advice. very yeah. positive. I mean, and surround your people, the ones that you love, and have them be positive around you and rally around you. Yeah. Because you don't need anybody who's wailing and crying, mm -hmm. yeah. worrying about, they have to go away. Good luck yeah. if they came in my space. I'm so sorry, honey, but you got to go. <laughs> because I can't have yeah. that. I need someone that's going to keep me yeah. up. Have and, some faith and yeah, you know, know that I'm, hope. yes, absolutely. Yeah. Hope is so important yeah. and believe, believe that yeah. everything's going to be better, but really believe, feel good. I think that we don't use our minds the way we should sometimes. The power and of our mind. The power of our mind is yeah. phenomenal. But you have to maintain a happy space for like that portal to open up for you to walk through and get what you need. And a lot of times people just take that for granted. Mm -hmm. But if you think sick, you're going to be sick. If you think healthy, you're going to be healthy. Yeah. But you do have to do the things like your sister's doing with eating well. Try, try and just yeah. what you know you should mm -hmm. as best you can. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Positive. Well, that's awesome. That's yeah. great advice. I really appreciate it. Wow. Your wealth of great knowledge. So <laughs> this is sweet. Well, uh, um, so what other fun thing? Like, did you think of something fun that nobody knows about you? Like, oh, my goodness. Something that I, I've done or yeah, work? Yeah, anything. Or, yeah, like the, um, you know, talents, like a hidden oh, talent that you have. Believe it or not, my children are very talented, but their mother is just athletic. So, like I ran the Boston Marathon okay. with a number. <laughs> That's awesome. And so my dad had a saying, uh, it takes no talent to hustle. So, you know, cool. consistency like over that. time, you train, gonna, you train, you train, you can do anything. That should be like one of those Pinterest quotes. Yes. Know, it takes no talent to hustle. It takes no it. talent to hustle. I love it. And it goes a long way. So yeah. I think I had more of that. Um, I'm just good with people. Yeah. I enjoy people, and I think that was fun. I worked for the NFL for seven years. I used to do the Pro Bowl for them. Oh, nice. And um, that was, That's you know, cool. that offering to the wives. I, so I would manage the wives of the players that were there. 
And, you know, when a player makes it to a, the Pro Bowl, it's because they were a superstar. Yeah. And who helps that superstar get there? The wives. Yeah. And so are the mothers, yeah. you know, right? Yeah. So they need to let be known, like, we appreciate you. You're awesome. Good for Thank you. you for taking good care of the player to get to the Pro Bowl. Good. I mean, those are things that we forget that there's somebody behind these athletes. Supporting them, just like Support, you with your yes, daughter. Like, yes. You know, it takes someone to, you know, encourage them mm -hmm. and believe in them and make good food and yeah, make sure them. they rest well and, you know, yeah. all the things they need to be well during their time. Players mm -hmm. don't play a long time. Yeah. You know, football players yeah. generally don't play lots of years. So yeah. supporting them when they're in there is important. So that is cool. So yeah. she knows a lot of famous, great people. <laughs> Who's your favorite? One of your favorites, like all time favorites. Like you know, you I got to tell you, one of my favorite people is Peyton Manning. Really? Okay. And his wife, Ashley. They are real. Like Those they people. are the kindest people. Down real to earth. down to earth. He, he's got to be one of my favorite guys that cool. I got to get to know. And yeah, Donovan McNabb was another okay. gentleman that I just, yeah, just funny and just, knew what to do on the field but yeah. when he was uh, not on the field could enjoy people in kind Personable. and his mother is hysterical oh really <laughs> she used to do the campbell soup commercials oh wow. yeah I so campbell soup. <laughs> yeah i know that one so cool. it's just those just some nice folks i've met i mean i've been fortunate to have been exposed to a lot of different yeah. people yeah and it's really the ones that make you feel like um you know, they're just like you and me. And, yeah. you know, and sometimes we forget they're just like you and me. Yeah, and, that's true. You know, and like, so that's important. We all too. grew up young and had experiences and challenges. Mm -hmm. and yeah. yeah. And it is, uh, it's impressive when you see what they're capable of doing. And it motivates me to be the best at what I do. Right. You know, and just cool. to be able to um, give some fun stuff to other people because yeah. it's supposed to be we're supposed to have fun yeah you're supposed yeah. to help people around you and yeah. use the experience that you have which is i'm glad you've been on the show to share some of that with us and oh, i have yeah. many little things i've done yeah, <laughs> but awesome. they've been fun i always yeah. try to have fun yeah. whatever i do i know she's working out and smiling and sweating <laughs> and smiling and we laugh and it's fun it That's is fun great. but you're a superstar too in that gym i wow. love how you help you know, whoever you're in there with yeah. and motivating, it's you know, because it's hard. Women, we tend to beat ourselves up a little bit about, oh, we're not good enough or we don't have the best, whatever body part bothers you. Yeah. But listen, you know what? We're doing it every day. Someone's going to love you no matter what you look like. Yeah. And, you know, you got to love yourself first. Good point. And if yeah. you don't love yourself, there's not too many people that will love you back. So yeah. that's a very important Take care More of yourself. Time. I mean, your health is super important, and that's the one thing that you yeah. can you can do to save you money and you know yes. help you give to other people because you feel more confident. You feel like you're keeping yourself as healthy mm -hmm. as possible, and and it just helps you. It always helps me feel more courage mm -hmm. to face the challenges of the day if I've you know tried to take care of myself and done my best. You know, right. So and you feel good in your skin. So yeah. And it's fun to meet great people. Yeah, so fun. how do people get a hold of you? Like if they want to, um, if they have mold in their house, they think they have creosote, like how do we get a hold of you? You can. What do you do? Yeah, they can email me. Okay. So my email so is Becky. Okay. B-E-C-K-Y at Gulf Coast. So we live on the Gulf Coast. Okay. Gulf Coast EnviroShield. So it's E N V I R O. S H I E L D. So EnviroShield. So Gulf Coast EnviroShield.com. Or they can look up www. Yep. Gulf Coast EnviroShield.com. They can access me that way too. So yeah, and you can come out and do an estimate or just see Absolute what it free, is. Every, I always do free estimates. Free estimates. I don't charge. So, so yeah. that is great. You would benefit, I think, from even just knowing Becky. So uh, look her up, send her an email, and um, and if you want to go to the gym and see how awesome she is too, go to the gym. She's a, just a great gal. So she talks to everybody and super friendly. So it's I sweet. really appreciate you. Well, it's a good example. place. That's my, that's my haven for happiness, right? Yeah. That's my it's sanctuary so is yeah. the gym every day. People go, you go every day? 
every day. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. at the gym. I my family knows oh mom's gotta go to the gym yeah. because I can't function at my best if I'm not at yeah. the gym. Yeah. And I and you know this is the thing. There's some days, oh my goodness, I have a heavy day. I get there early. So early. Be, you know, yeah. seven, six thirty, seven in the morning to get it done to make sure it happens. Right. Because if I get into the cycle of the day, I might not make it. Yeah, you so, get tired at night. That's what happens yeah, to me. I like yes. to do it in the morning. And morning. So it works for done. me. Yeah. One time in my life it was at night. Mm -hmm. I only could work out at night, you know, yeah. but it you gotta find what works for you. Because yeah. what works for you is gonna do. be successful. You keep right. it up because you it works. Yeah, and keep yeah. your clothes by your bed. I keep I lie on line on all of my workout gear. My husband does that because then it yeah. yeah, just get up, get ready, get up. look for anything nope. and go. Sometimes yeah. it's dark. <laughs> now with the winter it is, right yeah, dark and so cold. get up and go and ready to go and i have oh. my bag ready my earphones charged up yeah it's a priority to me yeah okay what music do you listen to i actually um what gets I, you like well huh? i do fitness on a cruise every year i teach on a cruise once okay. a year and seriously <laughs> yeah, amazing okay i'm going on the cruise go, come on the cruise okay, okay. but there's a dj mm -hmm. she's out of chicago uh, Sandra Suave. Oh my God. She puts together the best music mm -hmm. and it's just so motivating. And cool. so Can I you use share a lot that with me. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes, I will. Yeah. I will make a couple of, uh, I'll burn a couple of CDs of hers. She's just awesome, but she's a big DJ in Chicago. So okay. DJ Sandra Suave. Sandra Suave. I like yeah. that name. Yeah. Cool. She's very cool, but I love the way she puts her music together okay. and it keeps me up the entire yeah. time I'm in that gym. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, that's what I do. Cool. And she lifts weights. Yes. Yeah. That's I mean, a, she's you know, strong. anybody over fifty, anybody over fifty, you've got to lift weights yeah. because that's how you um, maintain your bone mass. Yeah. And we no don't get osteoporosis. Right. No osteoporosis. You yeah. know, I need to make sure that. Uh, I don't need to tell you because you already know that. So that's awesome. It is important. Yeah, that's for what all I try women. to tell women. Got to. I mean, I have old ladies. If they do it, it's surprising. I, you know, my 20-minute mm -hmm. workouts, it just it makes a huge difference. In, huge. Yeah. Just and it doesn't have to be a heavy weight, yeah. but you need to do some weight Resistive. bearing. Yeah, exercise, yeah. and it's important for your body. Yeah, yeah, it's expected. Well, awesome. I hope you've tuned in to Becky Singleton. We'll we'll run a little blurbs the rest of the week so you guys can catch up. Um, and. Get her on www.gulfcoastenvirushield.com. If you want a free estimate, free quote, she'll come out. See if you have any mold. It keeps it from growing forevermore. There's a 10-year warranty. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can get a hold of her, Becky, at gulfcoastenvirushield.com if you want to email her. So, mm -hmm. And do you have a Facebook page? I do, Gulf Coast and Virus Shield. Okay, <laughs> check out on Facebook. Everybody's going to Facebook. I know. Message her as well. So Absolutely. That'd be great. So thank you so much for joining in with Barriers and Breakthroughs. Again, I'm Rochelle Payne, Baum, the Pain Whisperer. And if any of you want to uh, tune in and get a hold of uh, Becky, I think that would be a great thing. Uh, you can find out so much more. Message her and uh, ask her any questions that you might have. I hope that you've learned something today. I've learned a lot about how awesome Becky is and how her good. I love you. Yeah. You're so, so she sticks with things and, you know, she, you know, loves people. And I hope you've learned something from that today. And, and you have the courage to go out and do the same, help other people, helps you feel happy and mm -hmm. uh, feels like you're contributing. So take care of yourself first. And we also like to make sure and thank Racer's Edge, Hand Car Wash for sponsoring us. We're actually here at Dreamlight Production Studio. And we'd like to thank them for letting us uh, use our studio. Jerry Flores is the owner. And if you want to do any video productions, quinceañeras, weddings, look him up, Dreamlight Production Studio. So yeah, it's a beautiful studio. Yeah. 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 So we'll be here next week again, Wednesday, 7 p.m. live Facebook. Um, our guest should be our financial advisor and uh, Crystal Walker. So tune in and we will be talking about some of the financial pains that we have. But mm -hmm. we'd like to help you overcome some of that. And uh, anyway, tune in next week. We'll be seeing you soon. And thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. All right. Happy Bye. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Eat lots of turkey. Yeah. Southie. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah. That's great. All righty. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, turkey is good.
Very nice. 